Pros, South Korean women in the military. What we're covering today isn't an article so much as it is a bunch of images of advertising by the government for women to join the South Korean military. You did a bunch of research on this. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, to put it briefly, women have been in the military, the Korean military, that is, ever since, like, the Korean War, the 1950s. But it wasn't until recently, in the last, like, 10 years or so, that women were actually able to start doing more combat roles and things like that. I did not know that about women being able to join since the Korean War, because it always seemed to me that very few of them actually do join and that's what this campaign is about to push to get more women in. It's like to bulk up the military even more than they already have it. Well, the point of the matter is the number of women in the military compared to men in the military is very minimal. And part of that is because it's mandatory for all Korean men to go in and serve a period of time, whereas it's not mandatory for women to join the military they can do it by choice. There has been a huge push for recognizing women in the Korean military recently with The Real Men, the women's edition of The Real Men variety show, and the government has also been doing other things, for example, this poster campaign, and even Descendants of the Sun, which a lot of Korean media is backed in part by the government, that's exactly what I was just gonna say. It makes me kind of sad to see the big push to put the idea of joining the military into a woman's mind there because I don't like militaries getting stronger as time goes on because we don't really need them even though governments tend to advertise like we do. The Korean government is in bed with the TV industry there, something that you only learn if you live there and you read the news. Well, the government's involved with television production across the world, but Descendants of the Sun has been pushing this a whole lot, this military empowerment philosophy, and there are a lot of really strong women characters well, a couple strong women characters in this. There's one doctor in particular that's a strong woman character who is in the military. There are a lot of people that will disagree with me here, but I think downsizing military as humanity goes forward into the future is really the right way. More peace, less military. You can't achieve peace by going to war. It's a fallacy, it's a complete myth. I'm just saying. I am not disagreeing with you. I do support military because I grew up in a fairly military family. Both my parents served, my mother also served, my brother is currently in the military, and his wife recently retired from the military. So I do see that not only does it have to be like this war philosophy, but there's also a really strong military presence that supports people. And that is why a lot of women are getting into the South Korean military, because it supports them. A lot of the young people, a lot of young women in the Sampo young generation are finding it really hard to get jobs, specifically because there's an inequality between men and women in South Korea because all men go into the military, and so therefore they get first preference when it comes to jobs. So women are finding that if they go into the military, that they get an edge in the job market because of that. Also, wow. the military is one of the few places that women can raise in rank and still have children because there is this thing going on in South Korea, like there are in many places of the world, where if women have children, they get discriminated against but they can't in the South Korean military. It's kind of weird to hear that the South Korean military seems a little bit more progressive in their rules and regulations than just the regular capitalistic economy laws as a whole, because you and I both have seen firsthand how women have to really just back out of their job when they get married or when they decide they wanna have children, and they can't really just easily go back. Whereas in other countries, there's a one year off paid leave for women and even men get some time off to be there with their child when the baby's born. And none of that exists in South Korea, or if it does, it isn't really encouraged. So the military supporting this or seeming to support a little bit more, at least on paper, is a positive no. They do have a maternity leave law and they are required to allow women back into work. On paper. On paper. That but isn't what is encouraged or really practiced as far as we've experienced. As a whole in Korea, right. yes. But in the military, they've actually seen an increase in women having children compared to the actual populace of South Korea. So 
something's working with the military. So if you want more babies in South Korea because they want more babies there, get more women in the military? I don't know. What have you learned about Korean women joining the military? Do you know anything? What's your reaction to seeing some of the images in the article link in the top of the description box? Let us know in the comments. Also right down there, click the like button on this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more Hollyback news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.